we have gotten pretty close. And much of that can be attributed to what Eli brings to the table. So we thought it fitting for all of us in the advisory to offer you what we know of him in a small, representative way. The little pieces of Eli we love through an act of touch we so often take for granted as the door to meaningful relations, which is what Eli has taught us and teaches all of us. I'm talking about the handshake. The greeting, an expression of love distilled to what it can only be in this implicit statement, I see you. <laughs> Eli sees all of us. All of us. This is what he brings to this Correct. This kind of love, Elijah Noble. Romans 2, chapter 2, verse 28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. In Psalms chapter 46, verse 10, be still and know that I am God. Good morning. My name is Elijah Noble, and I would like to start off by giving an apology to all people that A, write for fun and are good at it, B, English teachers, more specifically the ones who tried to make my writing better, Mr. Loft, Mrs. Messenger, Mr. Campbell, Mrs. Coleman, and Mrs. Jameson, and, future, and C, future English majors. <clears throat> I am originally from Harlem, New York. Yes, I'm from New York, and yes, I've been to the Big Apple on multiple occasions. You should visit. And yes, I know I have a New York accent. I've been told this since the first day I stepped on campus. When I, signed, when I first signed up for boarding school, I had no idea what I was signing up for. I could have been signing my life away, and I would not even have known it. I first found out about it because when I was in middle school, the smartest kid in my class was so smart that his mom wanted to pull him out because she felt the current school was holding him back, even though our school was one of the best in the city. Through lacrosse and because of how smart he was, he ended up going to a boarding school in California and graduated at the top of his class. He now attends Northwestern University and is and is studying medicine. I played lacrosse with him, so I have that going for me. <laughs> the idea of living on my own without my parents and playing sports and being around girls influenced me to go. <laughs> People say a lot that when they were younger, they would have not believed they would end up where they are now. And I could say that statement is no truer for me. Before starting boarding school, I would wake up, go to school, come home and play PlayStation for hours until I went to bed. Then I decided to go to boarding school. I spent many hours during the end of my eighth grade year and most of first ninth grade year preparing. Preparing for boarding school through interviews, answering a bunch of short response questions and practicing a bunch of lacrosse because I sucked. <laughs> Did I know answering all those questions and all those drills would lead me to a 250 person school in Lynchburg, Virginia? 400 miles away from home, to say that four years later that I'm giving this counselor talk right now? Nah, fam. I was so lost that my parents didn't even know I was going to boarding school until the day I had to make my, my decision. Their prior knowledge on boarding school was that of a military academy. Freshman year was a struggle for me, balancing school, sports, being away from home, a completely different environment. I was a wreck. I was on athletic probation for basically the whole year. For people who don't know what that is, it is when your grades are so bad that you can't travel for away games. I wanted to quit boarding school and go home back to regular school that, during that summer. However, with the everlasting support from teachers and staff in my corner backing me, telling me that I can do it, I took another shot. People including Mrs. Messenger, Dr. P, Coach Loft, and even my middle school coach, Jock Ward. <clears throat> All I could really remember through sophomore and junior year was COVID and just trying to get through it the best I can and good old senior year. All I have to say is that it's been a hell of a ride. It's not about where you start or where you end, it's about the journey in between. Through many ups and downs, you'll never be the same. Before I end, I would like to give a couple of thank yous. There is a couple, so we will be here for a little bit. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Little, Amari, Mr. Gina, and the dining hall staff for providing me with food for almost four years and stellar che cheeseburger pie. 
Amari, even though you are not here, and even though you're at your other job right now, I wish you were here to hear this live. I still remember the first time we met. It was late 2018 on a brisk cold night when I would put up, I went to put up my dish and I saw I had, I saw you had a black Miami Heat hat on. I asked you about it and then we started talking about our favorite NBA teams and players. Students and teachers would come through the lunch line for the rest of the year confused while I was just standing in the middle of the dish line. I happily told them I was talking to you. I even remember when Mr. Wren would also stop by. <clears throat> to my parents, I would not be standing here today without you. From all I can remember is that I was a smart kid that made a lot of dumb decisions. You both fought through a lot of hardship and showed me what it was like to be a respectful young man. Raising five children is wild in itself, so I'm taking my end of the bargain and providing you with, the, with only the best. I'm sorry y'all were not able to come visit campus as much as I wanted y'all to, but don't worry, I'm going to college closer to home. The Gates family. I could go on and on about how much y'all mean to me, but we, have, but we have lunch and I know announcements are gonna take super long. <laughs> y'all are a blessing to my life, housing me for lacrosse tournaments during COVID, many gifts, and the, the list goes on. And just for all around fun time. Coach Gates, his jokes are definitely a hit or miss, but his stories are one of a kind. <laughs> Mrs. Gates, who is a walking blessing, the best hype woman and all good things you can name. Mac, I love you, kid, but you're not better than me in 2K. I'm the best in the school. But you can have Madden. And Carly, I will never forget the day Dantes, Mac, you and I played Uno, and y'all hit me with a plus 12, and I just decided to quit. Fun times. <laughs> To Danny and the Staggers family, I really thought I was a hard worker, but thank you for teaching me that there's always another gear I could hit through Paradise. If you ever pass Springfield, Virginia, go visit Paradise Ice Cream. They make the best homemade ice cream, ice cream sandwiches, funnel cakes, and fried also, Oreos. They also cater. <clears throat> to all my teachers and staff members that impacted my VS career, Dr. P with her endless support and fun, Rivenberg and Bright with wrestling, Coach Jones, Nicholson, Porter, Grant, oh, sorry, Coach Negley. Uh, Coach Jones, Coach Nicholson, Coach Clyburn for football. Dr. Knebel, who taught me how to sew, and Coach Loft and Gates with lacrosse, and many more. There's just too many to name. Honorable mention to Dr. Wakefield and Mr. Harrington. <laughs> Nana Kofi, Negan Zovinci, Ishmael Plett, Steve Nater, Ope Abengude, Abube Mabulu, Fabio Diaz, Tariq Fuller, Daniel Pintar, Mufu, Riley Holleran, Aaron, Josh, and Dave Darko. Y'all made my VS career so fun. It would be so different without y'all. MT3K for life. <clears throat> to my home lacrosse family. Up until eighth grade, I never knew what lacrosse was. Now I can't live without it. The doors that open for me through the medicine game is something that I just can't put a price on. Thank you to TJ Dellinger, Robert McCoy, Tommy Glenn, Mercer Pringle, Eric Kai, Anthony Zhao, Will Morris, Davis Burbank, Campbell Reck, Ray Fallow, and Skip to the Drip Askin. Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, seniors, we have 78 more days until graduation. Mr. Aldridge, can you hit my walkout music, please?